Kajabi versus Teachable. This is probably a question that you were asking yourself if you're trying to get into the online course selling game. I'll say that these are two very powerful but different products. So in today's video, we'll be going over the pros and cons of each one, who each of these platforms is the right choice for, as well as the similarities and things that actually differ between these two platforms. Now I've used both these platforms, but I will say I currently do use Kajabi. That's the one that I decided to go with. Overall, you can't go wrong with any of these. They are both really great. They're just quite different. So if you want to choose which one to use, I think this video is going to be very helpful. We will have some exclusive links down below. For example, if you want to get an exclusive 3 trial to Kajabi, which is not available to the public, then yeah, use the link down below. First thing I want to talk about is how different these platforms are. Obviously, if you look at the pricing, one's a lot more expensive, one is a lot more affordable, and that is pretty representative of the different features that come with these platforms, right? So Kajabi is going to be a lot more all in one. They're going to have all the different tools that you're going to need. Hence, that's why the price is quite significantly more. And then with Teachable, it's more like a more basic online course platform. If you want to just sell courses and not really worry about all the email marketing, building websites, all that stuff, then yeah, this is probably going to be a better choice. Basically what my thinking was, I won everything in one spot. I'm a huge fan of Kajabi. I've gone to their conferences. And for me, the added price was worth it. So first off, let's start by comparing the different prices. If we take a look at Kajabi, you guys can see their basic plan starts at $149 per month if you pay monthly, or if you go to the annual plan, it's $119. So I definitely I think that's worth it. It is quite a substantial savings if you go with the annual plan. So yeah, let's look at these prices for now. 119 for the basic one, 159 for the growth, and then 319 per month for the pro plan. Currently, I am on the pro plan since I do host multiple websites using Kajabi. But for most beginners, the basic plan is going to be totally good enough. This one allows you to have one admin user, one website, up to a thousand active customers, and 10,000 contacts for emails. You can run unlimited marketing emails, create unlimited landing pages, and then turn of the number of products you can have, it's three products. It also allows you to build three different funnels. Now, if you go to the growth plan, you can see that the differences are you can have more products, up to 15 products with this plan. You have up to 25,000 contacts, 10,000 active customers. So these are people that are actually enrolled in your course. And then same thing, one website, but increased 10 admin users. You also can get access to their affiliate program, which is great. You get access to more support, advanced automations, and the ability to remove Kajabi branding. As you can see with all these plans, there is is 0% transaction fee, which is great. And then for the pro plan, I don't think too many guys will need this, especially at the start. You'll likely upgrade to this at some point if you get really into online courses. But this one allows you to build three different separate websites. You have more admin users, you can have up to 20,000 active customers, 100 products, 100 funnels, and you get access to their custom code editor. Now in terms of pricing for Teachable, you guys can see it's a lot cheaper. This is the annual pricing, you'll actually save 33%. So I do think that is worth it compared to the monthly. The main difference between Kajabi and Teachable is that Teachable has a completely free plan, $0 per month. This essentially allows you to try it out without really you know, committing any spend. However, I will say that if you start selling courses or if you want you know, all the functionality or a really good landing page, this is not gonna be the plan for you. They do charge a 10% transaction fee plus $1 for every sale. You have one published product. And yeah, it's a good starting point, but for most of you guys, you will want to upgrade at some point to basic pro or pro plus. With the basic plan, you actually get a lower 5% transaction fee, which is good. You can have up to five different products. You get their integrated email marketing, which is cool. It allows you to use custom domains, which is completely necessary. And you get some other things like coupons and order bumps. I think this is a fantastic deal. But at some point, if you want to actually lose that transaction fee, go with the pro or pro plus. Those come with 0% transaction fees, just like Kajabi. And you get features that are more comparable and similar to the paid Kajabi plans. And at some point, if you want to build a really big course business, their business plan is about $500 per month, but I don't think too many guys will need this. So yeah, if you want to try out Teachable, definitely go with that free plan. But Kajabi also has their exclusive 30-day trial when you do use my exclusive link. So I also do encourage you guys to check that out. Now let's talk about marketing, which is a really big aspect of your online course. When it comes to marketing, the more basic Teachable plans, they don't come with as much. That's where Kajabi really shines. They have invested a ton of money into their email marketing and all the other functionality that comes with their plans. And so basically, for my courses, I run 
all of my email campaigns directly through Kajabi. They have a great email builder that's built in and they allow you to run email campaigns directly within Kajabi. You can also create funnels within both of the paid plans for Teachable and Kajabi, although I have had a better experience with Kajabi. In terms of the site design, like the actual look of your website and landing pages, I'll say that both are quite good. With Kajabi, you do get access to their really great themes and with their most expensive plan, you can actually customize the code on this. So all of my courses, the landing pages, the websites, they're all built using Kajabi. So if you do want to see an example of what it can look like to use Kajabi to build your website and landing pages, we'll leave some links down below. Now in terms of costs, of course, we said that the Kajabi plans are more expensive. One added benefit is that there is a 0% transaction fee. So basically Kajabi doesn't take a cut of your sales. Teachable has the same thing for their more expensive premium plans. But I do want to say that Stripe or whatever payment processor, they will still take their percentage. So that's usually going to be like 2.9%. So yeah, if you do a lot of volume, then it's going to make sense to definitely go with one of the paid plans that has that 0% transaction fee. One feature that I do like about Kajabi is that they have a lot of different things that you can add to your checkout process. For example, if someone adds your course to their cart, but doesn't actually end up checking out, you can run a cart abandonment campaign. You can create this campaign within Kajabi, and these are actually extremely effective in getting people to return to the cart and actually buy your product. Teachable right now, I don't think has this option. In terms of analytics, I actually think Teachable might be a little bit better here. Although both platforms do give a lot of analytics about your customers, as well as things like their course progress. So now let's really compare the two and talk about why Teachable is better and why Kajabi is better. Kajabi is just more advanced. They have more advanced tools that come with their plans. And you can essentially run your entire course business through Kajabi. So if you value ease of use and you value you know, convenience, then Kajabi is likely the better choice. Kajabi also recently acquired Vibly, so they do have a built-in membership site. In terms of actually hosting your course, I'll say Kajabi is a little bit more premium. It's a little bit of a step up. So you can give your students assignments, you can give them assessments, and you can give them PDFs. Now, in what aspects is Teachable better? Well, first of all, if you're budget conscious, then Teachable, of course, is a lot more affordable. I'll say that it's a little bit more easy to use since there is less functionality, there's less things for you to learn. It's really more of just like a course hosting platform. I've taken a bunch of Teachable courses as well. It's a very great experience for your students. So I really think they are good at that. And in terms of their analytics and tools for analyzing data, Teachable is very, very good at that. So yeah, I'll say that again, you can't really go wrong with each of these. They are quite different. If you go with one of the more expensive paid Teachable plans, that's when it sort of more matches the features that you get with Kajabi. But for me, I chose Kajabi because it's more all in one. I was able to build my website, handle all my emails, create landing pages, cart abandonments, all these different things, all within one place. And for me, the premium that I pay for it is worth it. If you're just starting out and you just want to create a course and start selling it, then I think Teachable might be a better option. But for a full-fledged business where everything is in one place, my recommendation would be just to go with Kajabi. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. I know these platforms are quite different and I really want you guys to make the most informed and correct decision on which platform to actually go with. Again, the links to both Teachable and Kajabi are going to be down below. And hopefully this video gave you guys some more information and hopefully it allows you to actually go ahead and take action and start building your course using either of these platforms. If you've watched any of my other content, you'll know that I'm a huge believer in online courses. I think it's one of the best businesses ever to create. So I want to wish you guys a lot of luck and say you got this. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for your time. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. We do a ton of free tutorials and guides on this channel helping you to start your business. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.